Hi, my name is Kevin Ray. I'm Vice President and General Manager of Crownline Boats. And we're here for today's design video to talk about our exterior gel coat and our interior. These are things I like to say you can see, touch, and feel with your new Crownline boat. So please sit back and relax and enjoy the next few minutes while we talk about what we do, why we do it, and how we differ from our competition. What we want to talk about today in detail are our gel, our gel coat policies. What allows Crownline to consistently deliver a 97, 98 point reading on a 100 point scale? And the truth of the matter is it's both the components we purchase and the procedures in which we employ to maximize the benefit of both. So let's talk about a few things first. Standing right next to me is the first product that we pulled from our new set of E27 tooling. And what you're going to notice is this boat is shot in what's our, called our solid moonstone gel coat. Why do we shoot our first boat out of a new set of tools in a solid gel coat? We do that because you never want to touch the mold surface on a brand new production tool. You don't even want to put a tape line on it. So we wax the surface, we run the first part in the solid gel coat, we let it laminate and cure over a 24 hour period, and we pull the part. That process is what's called curing the mold. Then after the mold is cured, it's ready for traditional production. Now over here behind me, is our standard E-Series gel coat pattern. And what I want to point out is this is called a double hull band and a middle deck band. Also over here to my left, we have an optional gel coat. This is called a Forte gel coat. Now in our new E-Series boats, the 23, the 25, and the 27 in the E23XS, all four of those new E-Series boats have different style lines and have allowed an upgraded uh, package for you to choose from for your exteriors. The point I'm trying to make is that traditionally our boats come with a lot of color. We put more premium gel coat patterns into the marketplace standard on our products. The point being is we take our tooling very seriously and the procedures we put in place to manufacture product. So let's back up one more step. After you conceive, design, proto a new product, you pull what's called a glass master. After the glass master is created, all of your production molds are pulled off of that glass master. For every boat we put online with an 8.6 beam, we create the glass master and three sets of production tools. We take two sets of production tooling and we put them to our mold maintenance department where they are immediately waxed and prepared for the lamination process. We take that third set, we wax it, and we actually store it upside down on the master to protect both the master and the mold itself. So let's talk about our procedures and let's talk about the components that we purchase. The biggest change that this industry has saw in regards to gel coat occurred in January 1 of 2009 and that's when the entire industry was mandated to switch over to what's called low VOC gel coat. So with that said, everybody in the industry today is producing their products with low VOC gel coat. That's number one. Number two, there's only a basket of four or five suppliers that service the entire marketplace. So us, our competitors, really only have four or five choices in the entire marketplace to buy it and source gel coat. So let's take a step back. What does that mean? How do we differentiate ourselves? Each one of these suppliers offers what's called an entry level blend, a medium grade blend, and a premium blend. Crownline purchases only premium blend products. The name for our gel coat is actually called Armor Flex. Years ago, many of you that are familiar with Crownline may recall the name Armor Coat. Well, really, Armor Flex is today's low VOC version of the exact same high quality gel coat we've used since the company was originally founded in 1991. So we've established that Crownline only purchases premium products, premium gel coats, and now let's talk about the tooling and the procedures that we use to help maximize the benefit of those components. So as I mentioned earlier, when we create a new tool, a new part, we put three production molds into place. We put one on storage in the master, we put two into production. So these, these, these molds are waxed, we then shoot parts out of them, we laminate them, and we allow for a minimum stress, minimum 24 hour cure time before that part is pulled. Most of our competitors don't allow 24 hours. If you pull the part early, what you get is what's called post-cure, meaning you pull the part early, the full lamination process isn't flushed out, and actually you get some maturing of the product after it's pulled from the mold. 
That's visible when you look down the side profiles of the product. You'll see it have a little waviness to it. The finish will be dull. A lot of times that's post-cure, meaning it was just pulled too early or it wasn't waxed well enough or they didn't use premium products or some combination of all of them. That's not the case at Crown Line. Here's another really key point that differentiates Crown Line from our competition. We only run that mold through service depending on the time of year, three to five parts before it's completely stripped and rewaxed. Now again, let me make this clear. After every part that we run through that production tool, it is rewaxed. After every three to five parts that are run through that mold, the mold is completely stripped and rewaxed. The variance in the amount of parts depends on the time of year. If it's summer and it's 110 degree heat index in the plant and the moisture content is different, the lamination process is different. The policies and procedures have to change. So in the hotter summer months, we usually strip those molds after every three parts. In the off season, October, November, December, January, cooler temperatures, lower humidity, we usually run five parts. But I can assure you this mold wax stripping process is best in class. I've toured most of our competitors' plants uh, years ago when I worked for the engine manufacturers, and I can tell you they traditionally run anywhere between seven and 12 parts out of their molds before they strip and rewax their tooling. That again shows up in the ex uh, exterior luster of our product. It is why we deliver that 97, 98 luster out of 100 point scale. Using premium products, implementing premium procedures, at the end of the day, delivers the best exterior gel coat versus our competition. So for everyone watching this video, how can I reassure you that Crownline does all the things we say we do? Well, first of all, we already talked about the low VOC gel coat. Some of the properties of low VOC gel coat are two things. One, the parts are stickier, they're a little harder to pull. So if, you're, if you don't have a really in-depth wax process in place for your tooling, you're gonna to have problems pulling your parts and eventually damaging your molds. Second, the low VOC, v, low VOC gel coat has what's called a styrene buildout. Uh, after you run parts through your tooling, you get what's called a styrene buildup, especially in the radiuses of your deck. Now, here's where the truth serum all comes together for us. By design, we design in color to every one of our decks. So as I talked to you before, our middle deck band runs down uh, the middle of our deck, not in, only in our bow riders, but also in our E-Series. We, by design, put color into our deck. So what does that mean? If we start cutting corners, if we start skimping on the wax process, if we don't keep stripping our molds after every three to five parts, what happens? That styrene buildup in the deck primarily is where you get it, in the radiuses, will make our gel coat cloudy, hazy, visible. So by design, we can cut corners. It shows up right away, but our competitors, because we talked about this in our design video from last year, run very tall hulls, very short decks, but those short decks are solid white. Do you know why they're solid white? They can run 12, 14, 18 parts through those molds without having to strip because the styrene buildup is not visible. At Crown Line, we don't cut any corners. It may not be the easiest way to manufacture the boats, but it is by far the best way to create the product that you want to own. And that really helps differentiate Crown Line from the competition. We covered a lot of ground, so here's a quick summary. Point number one, Crownline purchases only premium low VOC gel coat. The actual name for the gel coat we use is Armor Flex Premium Gel Coat. Point number two, before we put a new model online for production, we cure the mold. We do this by running the first part through the mold in the solid base gel coat. This ensures that every part that follows from this mold will be of the highest possible quality. Point number three, for every new model we put online in the 8.6 beam segment, we produce three sets of production molds. This allows us to stagger the use of each mold to prevent what we call in the industry burning up the molds. Point number four, Crownline produces all of their molds off a flawless glass master. This is a big difference from our competitors. Most of them pull their molds right from the plugs. Point number five, Every part we produce cures in the mold for a minimum of 24 hours to help eliminate what we call post-cure. Point number six, we rewax our molds after every single part. We completely strip and rewax the molds after three to five parts, depending on the time of year. Point number seven, based on our design, with color being standard in our decks, if we don't adhere to these strict production procedures, 
we would see styrene buildup in the mold and on the part. Our competitors don't offer color standard in most of their deck designs for this exact reason. Point number eight, we allocate individual gel coat guns for each color for each of our four booths to ensure that there is no contamination of the color runs. Many of our competitors batch build a color, then flush the lines and place a new color on line for the next batch. We don't do this. Our processes are the most comprehensive, most labor intensive, but have proven over the past 26 years to deliver the best quality parts. Again, that's why we deliver a consistent 97 to 98 on a 100 point luster scale with every single Crown Line boat. Thanks a lot for your interest in Crown Line and we'll look forward to seeing you at the boat shows.